Hi, I'm Keith Morgan. I'm Chief Executive of the British Business Bank. Thanks for being here today, Keith. Um, so I just wanted to go into a little bit about why you're in Bristol today and, and what the British Business Bank is doing to help small businesses and startups in this area. Sure. I mean, Bristol is a uh, Bristol, Bath, and the South West in general is a large section of the UK uh, country and economy. Um, we have um, come to Bristol to explore the issues, the opportunities, the challenges around raising funding if you're a small business and what the options are. Um, when we look across the southwest, we see an economy which is actually very rich in small businesses. Uh, there's over half a million small businesses currently operating in this region. They're growing quite quickly, so uh, growth rates of uh, something like 10%, so that's all very encouraging. And then finally, we see um, some very good clusters emerging. If you look at Bristol and Bath, then in terms of technology or digital companies, um, those two cities are home to uh, the second largest cluster of, of companies outside of London. So some very promising activity going on in this region. Great. And in terms of the startup loans, we had quite a bold target um, set out by um, David Cameron earlier in the year that we wanted to triple the number of startup loans going out to to startups. I, I just wanted to find out, and uh, you know, I'm aware we're only a month into that program, but kind of how how that scheme's going at the moment, and what what kind of growth you're experiencing in terms of applications. Sure. I mean, startup is a very important part of the landscape from our point of view. We think of this in three different categories, startups, uh, which speaks for itself, but then also scaling up and then companies that are more established who want to stay ahead of their marketplace. But in the startup world, yes, we've accepted um, the uh, challenge that came from the manifesto of the current government, which is to triple the size of startup loans. Um, that should take it to a total of 75,000 startup loans during the Parliament. Um, at the moment, that program is doing very well. Um, it's bringing in um, very good applicants. Um, those applicants are widely spread around the country. Um, looking at things such as the um, diversity of people coming on board, we have very good numbers of people who are both men and women, very high levels of diversity and success rates. And the Startup Loan Program, we think, is operating very successfully. Um, we look at this periodically, we look to see whether there are any changes and um, adaptions that we should make, and we think the program is running very, very well. Great. And could you talk a bit about the, the idea of um, referring those businesses that do get turned down for business loans and, and how the, the, that process is going? Yeah, so as you may be familiar, the government's actually passed legislation on this point. So it's now a point of, uh, of law that um, we will be creating a system where larger banks will be obliged to offer the prospect, the option of uh, a referral to companies, small companies that don't get what they want uh, from the bank itself. Um, that will operate by the large banks who are required to do this, offering the option to refer to a series of finance platforms. Think of them as being platforms that bring together um, demand and supply. You know, people who want loans and suppliers, alternative finance suppliers, um, all banking lending suppliers coming to meet that demand. So we are going through a process now of um, designating um, a number of different finance platforms um, will be invited to perform that function. They'll receive these valuable streams of referrals from the banks and they'll be open. There'll be open architecture to a range of the full range of finance providers and thereby they'll allow that linkage to occur and bring what we think is much needed improved efficiency in the market. Great. And finally, so you're in the southwest today. I mean, there have been calls previously for the British Business Bank to have more regional presence and, and potentially um, look at offices in, in different regions of the country. So I just wanted to talk, if you, if you could talk about that a bit and, and where you might be heading in terms of your, your regional presence. So we think understanding and working with the regions is very important. And of course, it's a complicated landscape because we've got not just 39 different LEPs, um, that operate in England. We've also got the devolved administrations of Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales. 
we're a national institution and we wish to work with all of the different parties. Our approach is to um, understand the different needs and the different approaches being taken in the different regions and then seeing where our program programs overlap with their requirements. To give some examples, we operate very significantly in the regions in some areas of venture capital. There are certain funds that operate in the northwest and the northeast and in Yorkshire, uh, which are regional venture capital funds, and we perform a very important role in um, overseeing those funds from government's point of view. So we feel we're very close to the regional agenda, and we're working with um, LEPs around the country now to discuss how they can access further European funds to form more regionally focused um, funding operations to the benefit of their own areas.